Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. It's always great to stop and smell the roses. At least that's what I've heard. Ah, oh, what's going on? Gorgeous, gorgeous, huh? Oh, I see an artist in the garden today. Let's go see what he's painting. Uh-oh. Is that you, Dr. Romano? Yes, it is. How are you today? Can you help me identify a few roses? Why don't we forget about the roses and why don't we learn how to name some carboxylic acids, especially since the data you're going to be taking so soon. Uh, can I come back a little later? You I want to go right watch now. the airplanes. And let's take a look at naming the carboxylic acids. But the airplanes. The first problem I want to do with you is to go over how to name a very straight forward carboxylic acid. You count the longest chain here and you can see that there is five carbons. And what we're going to do is five carbons is called pentane. We're going to take off the word ane and add oic. That's going to make pentanoic acid. And as you can see, the chlorine is on carbon number four. So we call this compound 4-chloro-pentanoic acid. The second one is much more difficult. What we want to do is to note that there's two carboxy acids. So therefore, if there's two carboxy acids, it's called a dioic acid. Well, there's six carbons. So that's going to give you a hexane dioic acid. Now, what the hell is a double bond O as a substituent? We call it oxo. Since it's a substituent, we're going to number it from left to right to give it the lowest number. So I would call this one 2-oxo hexane dioic acid. 2-oxo hexane dioic acid. The next one I think is an interesting one. This is a cyclo compound. Normally the carbon with the carboxy acid group is number one. But when you're doing a ring, the carbon bearing the carboxy group is number one. So we're going to number it around, and then in alphabetical order, we see there's an ethyl on three and a nitro on four. So we would call this 3-ethyl-4-nitro-cyclohexane, and then add the suffix carboxylic acid. Whoa. So this would be 3 ethyl 4 nitro cyclohexane carboxylic acid. And finally, we have a benzoic acid. If these two groups weren't here, it would just be called benzoic acid. The carboxy carbon, the carbon bearing the carboxy group is number one. So this is two. So the bromines are on the three and the four. So we would call this 3,4-dibromo-benzoic acid. These are four good examples of problems that could likely appear in the dot. Um, that you could hopefully use. And once you know these, these type of questions, you have a nice stepping stone to be able to do any problem on the deck. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Will you be out here tomorrow? Can you help me name some roses tomorrow? Why don't we forget the roses and stick to the chemistry? Good day to you. Okay. Bye, Dr. Romano.